Good day, procrastinators. Uh, this is Forger, and this is the first episode of a new series uh, dubbed Forgeto. Uh, Forgeto is a company in the Feed the Beast uh, Nerd Tubes uh, server. Uh, we are currently running on the Ultimate Mod Pack. If you didn't know, which uh, if you've been living in a cave for the past few years, uh, Feed the Beast is um, a mod pack, um, which uh, is just a um, sort of a game on its own. It's similar to Tech It, uh, which has gone out of fashion quite an, uh, a while ago, but um, it's got uh, many, many more mo mods. So, excuse me. Uh, it's got about 33 odd pages of mods, which is quite extensive. But uh, first of all, I need to um, tell you about Forstro. Forstro is a company. Uh, there's a couple of companies, um, including Stixjo and Necrotomito. Necrotomito. I can't. I can't ever pronounce that bloody name. Um, Necrotomito. Um, and uh, I, I, I don't know. Um, uh, similar to the others, I, I'm doing a series on it uh, just to show our, uh, my misadventures. Uh, I have a colleague called Lint. Uh, he is a bloke dressed up in a Zelda costume, not to be uh, confused with Anne. She's a woman. Lind is not a woman. Yeah, so, um, he's not available today since he's in America and pff, he's probably sleeping. Um, and I have to record it right now. Otherwise, people, uh, the baby Jesus will probably cry. I don't know the baby Jesus, but he'll probably cry. He'll probably be here, maybe later this episode or in the next episode. So, let me just give you a small tour of Forge Joe. Um, and here is Link's little room. Uh, he has been focusing uh, at the moment on a mod called Mistcraft. Mistcraft is a mod which allows you to create separate worlds from this world, um, uh, like a new realm to be honest, and um, you can set characteristics in these realms. So um, you can like um, just create any world you want, like um, on these butt shells, uh, butt shells uh, are like a little thing from uh, Bibliograph. We'll get into that mod another day. Uh, like all these worlds, he's named these. Um, he's like have different sort of things in them. Like this one has two suns and it's a plains biome. So and um, there's a couple more in here, and you can create these using these little things right here. Uh, we've collected for the past few days. That considerable amount of materials. I myself found a portal gun uh, from the jump, uh, date gun, what? Uh, game portal, and it's pretty cool. I found it in a dungeon, and uh, it's very, it's been proved itself very, very useful. Uh, in here, the, these are barrels. These are really, really cool. So basically, what these do is you can put any item, just one though, inside here. You can store up to 64 stats of that one item. So you don't need to have chestfuls of one item. Just store them like that. I store carrots in there. You right click to put items in, and uh, left click to take them all out. So you can put, um, if you right click and then. Um, shift and left click, you can take one item at a time. Very, very useful. So, in these chests, we have um, collected a very large amount of um, materials, and these are all going to be used to make wonderful, wonderful things. Uh, as you can see, we have a considerable amount of ore, and which has no use yet. We've got a lots of natural mod drops and things like that. Now, you don't ask yourself what to do with this ore. Well, we are going to have to work out a way to smelt this ore. So, what we are going to do today, for in our first episode of Forge Joe, is create um, some uh, source of power, of, of our first source of power, and we are going to create a way to smelt all the ores in there. So, to do this, we are going to need a few machines, uh, two, in fact, well, three, to be honest. Uh, we are going to need a generator. Excuse me, I am amazing at spelling. A uh, generator, which is to use made in an RE battery, refined iron, and an iron furnace. We are going to need a macerator. And you may have heard previously, we're using the ultimate mod pack on this server, but uh, Legion's fiddled around with some of the settings, so uh, the uh, Dread is such a bastard. Uh, we are using, um, the, the macerator is uh, basically doubles the amount of ores you get, um, doubles the amount of ingots you get per ore. So it makes two dust uh, once it macerates it, and those two dust, each dust, 
when uh, when each test is smelted, it makes one ingot, so it effectively doubles it. And we are also, just to be a bit more snazzy, we are going to be using an electric furnace. Just right here. Very, very simple. So, um, electric furnace is a furnace powered by EU, which is a uh, electricity source well, uh, type of um, power and uh, from industrial craft. Um, some of you may use a red power, um, I know thermal expansion to smell fins, but we prefer. I prefer to use industrial craft. As uh, I, I don't know, I'm quite used to. I used to use it in a different mod pack called Tech It. Uh, I am going to get all these recipes and all the materials for these recipes, and uh, we'll make them. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Uh, we have to let it. I have to let it. We? What? I've, I've turned it slightly insane. Uh, I've collected everything we need for the machines, and I am going to lay them out in these uh, things called auto crafting tables. These just, um, these can be used in build craft, which is another mod pack uh, in Feed the Beast, and um, it can automate. It can be used in factories to make things. Something like that. Bastard. So uh, they can, and they also keep the items inside there, so you can make a proper table in here. So first of all, we don't make the g the generator. Uh, that's all that. So we all need to put three iron there. Uh, uh, wait, what was it? I have awful memory. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so bad, so bad, so bad, unbelievable. I'm there, and the RE battery right there. Boom, generator. Uh, then we need to make the macerator, which is flint, cobble. Uh, etc. So we'll need to make these, and then we will need to turn these copper tables into uh, boom electronic electronic circles. They try to deceive me there. Um, so uh, to make a to the macerator, we need three flint, two cobblestone, one machine block, and one electronic circuit. So bam, bam, bish bash. Bish bosh nosh. Macerator. Whoop! There we go. We got a macerator. Awesome source. Finally, we will need a electric furnace to smelt all of the stuff produced by macerators. We will need an iron furnace, two redstone, an electronic circuit. Bollocks, I forgot the redstone. Right, so I'm back. So um we've got the um redstone and they go like that, I believe. Is it there? Yes it is. So and then it's uh, iron furnace. And finally, bum ba dum ba 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 schwa. Electric furnace. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Voice right then. Oops. Um. So we got our three machines. Now where to set them up? I think we will set them up just outside, because of course the great outdoors is not the best place. But shut up. So I'll put a generator here, macerator here, an electric furnace here, and in the macerator you put coal. So I'll just put some coal in here. There we go. Got some coal. So just open the door. And boom! I suppose. Is this powered both of them? Yes, it has. So what this is doing, the generator produces power. You can see right there it's built up. And uh, because it's connected to these two machines, uh, the macerator and the Oh. Oops. Uh, what? Um. One minute. 